Okay, so we got some new gear, so I figured I'd do an update. Um, not new, had her for years. Um, fender Telly, uh, Baja Telly, bridge position's a no caster, neck is a twisted Telly, uh, S1 switching, so it's got the four position switch for out of phase. Um, and then a while back some asshole decided it'd be funny to shoot my guitar with a pellet gun so it's always had a nice nasty crack and nick under there so I just covered it with a uh, Remington 30-06 shell backing <clears throat> that way you know it just it covers it but it's still something cool and like you know it doesn't have that ugly ass crack in it <clears throat> uh, this guy not using that currently anymore, it's for sale. Uh, drop me an email or leave a comment if you need more information on it. Great amp, I just upgraded to something louder because I need more. <laughs> um, this I made years and years and years ago. It's a little Fender shitty frontman 15 watt amp, but it, you know, Works good when you want to play at 10 o'clock at night and not fire up any of the tube jobs, so it's nice and quiet. Um, down here, my uh, TSA-15. Uh, amazing. I finally found the sweet spots on this head after about eight or nine months of playing around with it, experimenting with different stuff. I finally got it to where I like it through my, uh, my 212 with carbon speakers in it. Uh, up there is the uh, first ever um, prototype air guitar set neck Telecaster. Um, scallop frets, rails pickup in it. It's an actual Fender ashtray bridge. Uh, ash body, maple top, mahogany neck. Great guitar. Um, over here is my uh, my Strat. You can see right there's a Nick and another one. I'm just letting it age and the fretboard is just nice and I guess you'd want to call it good looking from what, how Maple gets. It's lovely. Um, replica uh, Mick Mars' main white Strat that he has. So I couldn't get a hold of the Rolf pickups for it because uh, the website was down at the time I was building this so I just put Duncan's in because that's my go-to anyway so I'm comfortable with them uh, Floyd on that uh, it's a 70's reissue neck so I did have to cut and take the, the nut out and put the Floyd nut in that was a pain um, come down we'll do the signal chain so uh, Planet Waves cables I do have a the wireless it's tucked under the board so it's out of the way of getting hit uh, not using it obviously here because I'm not playing live but planet waves cables uh, still using the bad horsey uh, still got the mainstay phase 90 mad professors getting used now uh, you can see not as a drive the drive is off but the delays on so it's still giving me that nice tape delay and giving me that Van Halen kind of tape and when you kick it on it does boost the signal just a touch but nothing crazy uh, solo boost micro amp then I go into my tuner because the boss is a buffered tuner so it kind of you know gives me back a little bit of what I lost uh, hits the chorus then before the amps get split in the AB and then I'm doing something new that tube screamer head is on uh, channel B and that gets kicked on along with the microamp for solos. And then this is the new head that I'm using. I found this guy on Craigslist. I traded a Blues Junior even up for it. Um, SoCal 50. Kind of rare. I haven't really seen too, too many of them. But it is amazing. Uh, EL 34s. Very, very mid rangey So normally I wouldn't do this, but I did take a lot of the mids out. And then uh, use the presence and the treble to kind of get it back and then contour it in. I do have the uh, interactive EQ engaged and it is loud as hell. Through my 412, which is never leaving. Uh, we'll do some more guitars. But first let me explain 
somebody had asked me to explain how I hook up my PA for live. So this is my board that I use to record and for live. So for live, what I'll do is we'll have all of our channels in. Uh, I'll go out the backs here. Those are your mains out. This isn't a powered board, so I have to go to a power amp. And then there's your mains controls. So I come out of that, and then I go into this, and this is just a little 100 watt. This is the smaller PA in case, you know, it's only me and somebody else. I'll only take this. There's no sense in taking a board. So I take the lines out from the other board, go in the channel one and two, balance them here, adjust them on that, and then use the overall level on this to send to the PA speakers. None of it's hooked up right now because I'm not gigging, I'm just taking time off. Uh, yeah, drum kit's away. Uh, there's my ESP LTD that I modded to within an inch of its life here. Sounds freaking amazing now. It plays really good. Well, it was alright when I got it, but you know, it was your typical cheap uh, guitar. Some two project guitars that I'm working on. We don't need to go over them. They're nothing fancy. Um, in this bag should be my double cut, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Air Guitars custom double cuts in that bag. Uh, fantastic stuff. I had a high fret on it. Because we've had a nasty winter and it's just been playing games at the neck. So I did have to repair that. And then I'm going to go over it again in the summer. But that's that. Black Diamond Pickup. Uh, as you notice, all the guitars are in cases now. With the exception of a few. Uh, other than the ones that I'm using. That's an SG. An Epiphone SG in there that's not used right now. It's nothing too fancy but I'm having some problems with it uh, lap steel uh, the firebird as you've all seen before but I could pull that out uh, give me a minute There it is. Still rocking. Uh, it was just restrung and completely cleaned up and made nice again about a month ago when I did it. Uh, it strung it with 10 to 52 string joys with the over wrap. Uh, check out string joy strings, man. Those things are amazing. Uh, handmade in Nashville, Tennessee. Wonderful strings. Uh, I got another Firebird here. Let me get that out. Oh. And now this is the first guitar that I've ever built years and years ago. Uh, it's the reverse Robin Crosby style Firebird. Uh, Gibson Dirty Fingers. One of the older ones or whatever. I don't know. When I got it, there was no Dirty Fingers on it, but it is a Gibson pickup. Uh, one volume, CTS knob. Uh, all Epiphone hardware, because that's what I had. Even down to the neck, it's an Epiphone neck. Uh, it says Firebird down. It's a great guitar. It really is, and it's heavy. It's a very heavy guitar. Sounds great. Uh, used it quite a bit live, too. Here's a new one that you've never seen. This isn't mine. This is for sale for anybody who wants this. Uh, I just finished the build on it about a month ago. Uh, you ready for this? This is crazy. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, right? Uh, it's a robin egg blue satin finish. Satin lacquer. Um, walnut, maple, walnut, pick guard. It's three individual pieces of wood. Uh, laminated together. You can see they have some figuring to them. And then if you get real close, you got chrome hardware with brass screws. And brass screws for the pick guard. Five way switch. Uh, it's the first guitar I built with a logo on it. You flip it over. Set neck. Uh, signed. Customer wanted fender tuners, but then the guy who was ordering it backed out. Of course. Um, 
Sign dated. This is a prototype uh, handmade trim cavity. And then if I flip it like this, super razor thin along that edge. Very, very comfortable to play. Uh, really, really sounds good. It plays very well. So that's for sale. Uh, hit me up on that. 450 takes her home because I can't keep her sitting around. Um, that's a banjo in that case. Here, we'll get the Les Paul out. Gibson USA. Finally got around to fixing the case that was damaged there. From years and years of opening and closing. And, um, 10 to 52s again. I put all the old vintage 70s knobs on it. Still got the JB in it. I put a perloid pick guard on. Kind of ties everything together all the way down the guitar. Awesome instrument. Still my number one. Uh, she will stay with me until the day I die. That's just how this guitar is. Beautiful. Uh, move on. Here's the hammer. Okay, the only thing that got changed on here, I did put a cover back on the neck pickup. Uh, this is getting a black diamond in it very, very soon. Uh, he's got a new one out called the 69, and from what he tells me, it's amazing. So I'm definitely going to try that in there. Uh, everything's running great on it yet. And remember in the last video, I told you I got it pretty cheap because of that. That's a knot in the mahogany on the neck. Um... Still, knock wood, no problems with it. Sounding great, I've used it to record, and it records very, very well. Um, and we got in here, I don't know that you've seen this one before or not. We got my 12 string. Yeah, Avalon 12 string, it's got mahogany back and sides, spruce top, rosewood bridge. Mahogany neck, rosewood fretboard. Really, really plays good. This one really, really records good too. Nice and bright. Lovely guitar. Uh, I think that's about does it. I got some other stuff that I can show you too that you've probably never seen, that I've never videotaped. Parts bins and shit in case I need them. Uh, in here... Uh, kick pedals for the drums, different kinds for recording, whichever one we like. That one there's got a softer attack, that one's got more of a click to it. Um, Joyo American Sound, great pedal. Uh, pretty cheap, but it's very, very good. Um, CDs, because, you know, I must be the only one on the planet that uses those yet. All the boxes for my pedals, they save that shit. Uh, Nady drum mics, uh, Audio Technica wireless that I have on my board. There's one of the condensers. I think it's in there too. Uh, random mic shit in there for the 57s. There's this that you didn't see in the last one, the Fire Studio. Really, really good interface. Uh, looking to get a tube powered channel strip to put up here to do vocals with. Um, Come down here. Tripods, guitar hangers, Velcro. Mic cables. Uh, guitar cables, patch cables, headphones, anything you could need. So we'll do another shot. So now the live rig consists of the Epiphone and the Ibanez. Uh, the pedal board got a little bit redone. And then that big old crate's for sale. All right, thanks guys. Figured a good update would do. And then I hope I answered the questions about the PA system. Yep. All right. See you later.